Okay, now that the blueberry syrup's done, I'm going to start making blueberry barbecue sauce. So I've got um, my blueberry puree here that I'm going to use. And I have a whole bunch of spices and ketchup and vinegar and some brown sugar. So there's a recipe online and I'm kind of using that as a guide, but I'm not really going to measure much. I'm going to kind of do it to taste and kind of taste as I go and see what I need to add. And you can do the same thing. The vinegar is going to give it enough acid to where um, you shouldn't need to pressure can it. So I'm going to water can this. Um, the recipe called for about a cup of ketchup. And they, this is about three cups of blueberry puree. It called for like three and a half cups of blueberries. But I'm just doing blueberry puree. So this is a smaller bottle because Walmart here a while back, that's all it had. And I do my grocery orders online. Anyway, so there's, I probably used a little over half. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to subscribe and to click on the... Um, bell for notifications if you like um, seeing my videos um, again I'm not fancy I'm not anything amazing I just try to share what I'm doing and see if people like it maybe it can help somebody um, so I'm adding brown sugar this is about a half a cup um, total, those were um, fourth of a cup servings. Like I said, I'm just kind of eyeballing everything. It's kind of the way we do things. Um, again, add more vinegar if you like more vinegar taste. So you can just sit here and play with this and just add stuff. And then once you get everything added, taste it and see if you like what it tastes like. If not, add more or something. Obviously, you can't take anything out, so I wouldn't go crazy to begin with, but you can always add more. Um, here's some ground cumin. I'm going to add some of that because I love cumin, and I think it'll give it kind of a smoky taste. Um, not a lot. Here's some ground mustard. Uh, a lot of people put that in their barbecue sauce. Again, I'm just winging it. Onion powder, you could do real onions and um, real garlic or shallots. Um, I kind of added the um, blueberry puree to the pot before I um, thought about doing all that. So I didn't feel like taking it out or messing up a different pot. Um, so here's some garlic powder. Um, I would be careful with the garlic salt. You could absolutely use it, but just be careful because that does affect the salt content. Um, some black pepper, if I can get it open. Um, some smoked paprika. Probably will put some chili powder in here as well. I haven't done that. Um, some cayenne, just a little bit. I do like a little bit of heat in my barbecue sauce to kind of come up on the fat side. Um, some red pepper flakes. I'll do a little bit of chili powder. And again, you can stir and then add and take or not take out but you can add whatever else you think it needs um the recipe that i saw online was really interesting it called for um ginger actually freighted it or freight it, grated fresh ginger i like to combine my words all together for some reason so this is kind of how we cook in the south you just eyeball everything and see what you need to add and take out.
I think I'm going to add a little bit more vinegar. Not a lot. I could taste the vinegar taste. Um, it doesn't, I think I'm going to add a little bit more sugar. It doesn't need a lot. Um, we'll add some more paprika. And a little bit more cayenne. I didn't really taste any heat. I don't want it to be overpowering, but I do want to taste some heat. So, and I still have my water bath canner on low from when I was making um, the blueberry syrup. So it'll be ready to go when I'm ready for this. That's better. I'm thinking just a touch more vinegar and maybe a little bit more mustard powder. I like a tangy barbecue sauce. You could also just add mustard. I don't know, just play with it. I don't have 50 million spoons that I'm going to have to wash. Well, actually, I'll just put them in the dishwasher. But you could use the same spoon if it's for you and your people. But I may be giving some of this away. And even though anything should process out, I'd, that's a little gross. That's better. So I'm going to get this on the stove. And then we, once it cooks, I think it has to process for maybe like 15 minutes once it comes up to boiling. And then we can process the jars. So this is what it looks like. It's going to be really good. Um, some of the posters suggested um, putting it on, what do you call it? Um, chicken, pork, all of that good stuff. So... Um, ribs, which obviously is pork, but anyway, just some ideas for you. If it's something you're interested in, you could gift it. But like I said, I had all this puree left that I needed to do something with. And I still have some more that when my um, trays come today, I'm going to make fruit leather with it. And I'm excited about that because my boys love... Um, what are you, fruit roll-ups. So this, you get to control the sugar, the type of sugar, um, and everything that goes in it. So there's no preservatives. So it will only keep for so long. You can look up recipes online. When I make it, I'll probably post what I did and maybe do a video of that as well. So lots of uses out of my blueberries. You could also make um, blueberry concentrate for um, blueberry lemonade. There's lots of things you can do. So just, if you have things, look online. You'll be amazed at what's out there. Um, very few of these are my original ideas. I get them from Facebook, Pinterest, all kinds of places. And all the jars for the um, blueberry syrup have sealed. So they will sit there and cool. They're super hot. So... Once my blueberry barbecue sauce gets done, I am done for today. Well, unless I make pickles later. So you may see me again. We'll be back. Okay, so here's my barbecue sauce. I, since it was just mainly puree, I got it up to boiling and let it boil for a few minutes. And now I'm going to fill my jars. This time I'm using half pints. Um, because... It's not something I would probably use a lot and I don't want it to go bad. So I'd rather process it in smaller size jars. And I've already heated them and pulled them out of the count canner. Um, and these I'm gonna leave a half inch headspace. 
I think I'm gonna have to go grab some more jars. That's okay. I'm just gonna fill these up as I make a mess. I don't remember making a mess like this before. Be right back. I had to let my dog in. So I'm just gonna continue filling these up, trying not to make a mess. I should probably use the ladle like I did before. And then I won't be as likely to make a mess. We will try that. Yeah, that works better. I am pretty sure I'm going to need a few more jars. That's all good. The more the merrier. And the longer it will last. So if this is a hit, it will last me a while. Maybe, hopefully, until next summer. And then I can can some more. That's, I try to um, can enough to last me through the winter. But you can't get blueberries in the winter. So, yep, I think I'm going to need, let's see, two or three more. So I'll be back and grab those and get those in the hot canner. And then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm back. I grabbed three more and just got them heated. So we'll see if that's enough. If not, I'd run down to the basement and get more, but I think that'll be plenty. May only need two. We'll see how long I can hold this pot. It's not crazy hot anymore, but it's still pretty warm. I think I'm gonna have three and a part of one. The partial one I will end up putting in the um, fridge, so that will be used first, obviously. I'm gonna switch from my ladle to a spatula to get all of it. I'm kind of stingy. And I've already turned up my water bath canner. So it will be almost boiling, if not boiling, when I get these in there. So here's my partial one. So that one will go in the fridge. Ah, I am trying to mess up my towel, which I've already gotten stuff in it twice. So I'm doing a pretty good job. So I will wipe that one off last because I don't want to um, get this all dirty for these that I'm actually going to process. So it's important that this rim is clean and my towel is clean. That's why I put that little bit back in there of this one, which we're going to use here anyway. So it's not like that one's going to anybody. So this towel would need to be washed to get all the blueberries out of it, which it may stain, but that's okay. Memories of what I made. Now my mom was like, blueberry barbecue sauce? I'm like, I know. She wasn't too sure about that, but I think it'll be good. I need to put a couple more lids in here. And get that warmed real quick. I'm going to wipe this off. And this one's ready to go for home. So that's what you do if you have a little bit that doesn't seem to go with anything. You just be like, hey. That's our little tester. 
and that's a little bit that we can use before we open a jar. It's hard to open jars, or at least it is for me, when you can all this stuff because then you realize that you're going to use it and then you're going to have to make more. This isn't as, I don't mind this as much as I do, um, what you call it, um, spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce is intense and it takes a while, but it is so good. So much better than anything that you could buy in the store. So I do it every year, or at least every year that God blesses me with a good harvest from the garden, or I could buy them from um, the tomatoes and stuff from a local garden. I mean, not garden, farm. I'm getting green beans this weekend. So I will be snapping beans this weekend and getting those ready to can. Those have to go in the pressure canner. But thank goodness I have two now, so it, the process won't be as tedious. When you have to cook one or do one batch and then wait for it to come up to pressure, process, then um, let it depressurize, take them out, and then do it all over again. It is a long, hot day. Even if it's cool outside, it's a long, hot day. So don't burn yourself because it does get hot. And like I said, I've already used it one time for the syrup. So again, we're going to get our jars in kind of like a star pattern opposite. The last batch I was taking out, I almost messed up and left them all on one side. So I corrected that real quick because I didn't wanna, want it to topple over. So that's in. It won't take but a couple of minutes to come up to a rapid boil. And then I'm gonna let these process for 15 minutes. My water from the lids that I saw used to like soften it, I just put again in my dishwater and we're good to go. So I'm gonna let these process for 15 minutes. I'll show you what they look like when they're done. And thank you for staying tuned. Okay, so these are ready to come out. So since I'm not gonna use my canner anymore, I turned it off and then you remove the lid. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I decided that we're gonna have chicken thighs tonight. So I'm gonna put some of this barbecue sauce on, the little bit that I had to go in the fridge. And we're gonna test it out tonight. I think chicken thighs and asparagus, and I gotta think of something else to go with it. But anyway, so here's the can or the jar. And then I'm just gonna set them over here on my towel. Now they have a jar list lifter that comes with a canning kit, but I love these silicone gloves because me and those jar lifters don't get along too well. Sometimes I'm not very coordinated. So I love these because I can just lift them up using the, the gloves. And you already heard that one pop. So. And one more. And while all my stuff processes, so when while the um, while my barbecue sauce was in the canner, I clean my kitchen. So my kitchen is clean. My canning is done. So I can just sit back and relax now. So now um, you can hear them pop up behind me. It's the best sound ever. I ordered some um, Tatler lids because lids have been very hard to find this year. But I didn't want to use them with the blueberries because I don't know if they would stain. So I didn't want to stain them first time around. So I'm going to move my canner over here. That way in a little bit I can clean this side of my stove because I keep my stove clean. And... Um, I take the water out of the canner and I'll probably use them tonight to water my plants. So um, I try not to waste that either. 
you can dump it down the drain. You could use it to create um, dish water if you need to do that. So these have been popping like crazy. So they should be almost all sealed at this point. I try to look at it from an angle because you're not supposed to touch it. So if you look at them from an angle, I don't know if I can get... Sometimes you can see if the bubble's still popping up or not. This is just water. But um, this one has sealed. So I don't know if you can see how it's like pointed down at this point. But they should all seal. If not, I'll reprocess. And that's another reason not to get rid of your water yet either in case you need to reprocess any of them. So to do that, you would just take the lids off, heat it back up and wipe the rims down again and do that process all over again. A lot of times, if it's just one, I will keep it in the fridge and just use it instead of reprocessing. But that's up to you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to press the bell. Have a good day.